gentlemen, many of you, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm gonna take you on another little adventure of this trip. Uh, this time to a little village called Löwejen, um in Germany, basically. It's kind of close to Halle, which is close to Leipzig for your orientation. And there is this quarry called the Aktienbruch which is um, yeah, pretty impressive as you can see. It's up to 40 meters high at some spots. It features some pretty nice and interesting rocks and um, you know rock formations like this Eret here, for example. Um, the route on which the guy currently is is a 7A, I think. And to the right of that, if you climb on the right side of the Eret, is a 6C, um, which I did on site, which is super slabby and a bit scary as well and totally wrecked my toes. Yeah, but really interesting and nice climb obviously as you can see crazy features super smooth looking walls there and the rock is actually also interesting it's porphyry porphyry is the English name of it or porphyr porphyr in German and this is kind of a volcanic um, rock here so yeah from that perspective a little bit interesting it feels a bit like granite you know it's a bit rough all the time but a little bit more um, chossy you know at some spots it feels a bit loose at some spots and you can see that at some spots there um, has been some you know the first layer of the rock kind of did come off and it's also worth mentioning that still in, you know at some spots of this quarry there is still work ongoing so they um, you know they gather yeah rocks there I suppose uh, nature rocks you know for um, yeah or making ways and stuff like that but anyway um, to the climbing here I'm trying a, a real classic of the crag which is called Terra Nova it's a 7c plus really interesting it goes th straight through basically one of these um, slightly overhanging smooth looking walls but features actually you know kind of a pillar a natural pillar of rock through this um, really otherwise really smooth wall which looks kind of interesting even from far away you know because you can see it already from far away um, as usual you know the, the ascent so to say to the start of the route is kind of psychological the first bolt is quite high up and then you get this uh, you get this really good ledge on which you can shake out one last time and from there the route is really it has kind of a power endurance um, character you know it starts off with this sidewards rail featuring this kind of slopey you know sidewards holds side pulls and yeah, consequently you have to lean in properly to make these holes stick but down here as you can see there is not a lot of stress involved I also have to say that this was my second go and I did not check out the route as properly as I should have so uh, you will see me at some spots um, hesitating you know thinking about beta trying to remember some beta the only thing I basically remembered really good was the sequence of the crux moves you know because there it was really important and I will try to point that out maybe you can spot where you know where I'm climbing really fluently and uh, yeah according to the beta that I still remembered for this uh, sequence down here I'm still you know kind of improvising a little bit getting this kind of clip in very high feet very high right foot and here the first harder move from this crimp with the left hand onto this um, side pull sloper here with the right hand nice flag there to make this side pull you know stick then a sketchy hook with the left uh, heel hook actually and then sorting your hands into this slot which you can't really see here because again this this rock forms a pillar here and you can't see on the other side but this slot is actually quite good if you know how to handle your body weight you know if you know how to lean in your body weight the right way from there you can make the next clip and yeah this gives you the last chance for another little shake out again and from there it's basically power endurance to the top as far as I remember Here you can see a nice shot um, of the whole line and basically in the middle at the moment and now it starts to really get interesting and um, yeah a little bit more crispy from a, from a difficulty perspective there's a nice cross step here on this kind of slopey foothold getting your right foot there as well and then crimp with the left hand high right foot again 
intermediate sloper right hand and then bam this is actually one of the first crux moves to this um, edge up there this is, looks like a side pull now but it's actually a crimp and i think now i'm matching with my left hand yeah trying to get to turn my right hand around one little shake out now i actually turned my right hand although you can't really see it but now it's a side pull which you know the side pull you can't obviously catch dynamically so i had to ha had to catch the crimp and turn it afterwards and this is the crux move this big lock off from these two footholds and i stepped them really you know confidently because i remembered the beta quite well matching and yeah here it starts to really drain you out and get pumpy you know another high right foot and big slap onto another crimp actually and as it is usually the case with these power endurance problems you know always trying to get a little shake out in between every single move um, trying to chalk the hands up as well it was actually quite hot that day um, and these holes were quite greasy actually already because it's a classic and a lot of people climbed this already I suppose yeah last shake out before the few little finishing moves and if this was actually your limit you know you could not shake out here I had the feeling that I could shake here because I somehow managed to make these holes quite okay for me you know because I have the finger strength simply these holes were not so bad but if this really was your limit grade um, then you probably would have to sprint through it and this is just another basic mechanism how you know roots get easier as you get stronger in terms of max strength you know you you get the ability to shake on holes which you could not shake on beforehand you know you get stronger you don't have to contract your muscle fibers so extremely which allows still to get some blood in there and then some holes become shakeable which were not shakeable when you were weaker from a max strength perspective so that's also interesting to see the, the kind of development that occurs there oh so yeah as you can see lots of flags lots of really high feet um, trying to get the most out of these side pull slopey and crimpy holes as possible really nice line I have to say um, pretty epic climbing and also it feels really exposed you know because you're surrounded by this by this um, flat smooth looking wall and basically you're grabbing onto the only holes possible there yeah good stuff very good stuff I hope you enjoyed the little voiceover. Um, see you soon. Oh boy, oh boy, another epic day coming to an end. Man, I have to say I really love this, you know, just meeting meeting the people who watch the channel and then climbing with them, you know, um, making climbing, making a climbing day with them. Today in this um, query, in this old query, actually not an old query, it's still active, they are still doing work there, you know, gathering stones I guess <laughs> gathering gathering rock really interesting rock um, volcanic um, rock anyway I probably already told you that um, just wanted to say epic day thanks for all the people um, with whom I had the honor to climb with uh, yeah really epic routes as well epic features man just really cool I wouldn't have expected that for a, for this sort of a flat part of Germany you know and from now on we're heading to the north baby so it's gonna get flatter and flatter <laughs> i think it's gonna get flatter and flatter this is gonna be the last um outdoor climbing probably for a longer time which i don't mind you know i can take a little bit of a rest but yeah 
from today on we're probably gonna head to Berlin and then even more to the north maybe meet some people in Berlin who I know let's see if I can meet them and uh, yeah then let's see what the upcoming journey brings pretty excited pretty pumped pretty psyched uh, yeah I'm glad that I can share it with you so yeah see you soon guys hope you're having a great one as well